Good day, students. My name is Mrs. Oludipe Odubolanle Oluremi. I am your mathematics teacher for this session. And the topic to be treated is Matrices and Determinants, Part 1. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to A. Define matrix and state the order. B. Mention and define types of matrices. C. Perform the operation of addition and subtraction of matrices. Enjoy the lesson. Matrices and Determinants Part 1 Definition Matrix A matrix is a set of real numbers or elements which are arranged in a column and row to form a rectangular array and are enclosed in a pair of big or curved brackets. The plural of the word matrix is matrices. Row. Horizontal line indicates the row. Column. The vertical line is the column. Matrix is denoted by both face capital letters, while their elements are in small letters. Elements. Elements of the matrix are all the numbers inside the matrix. Example. Matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4 are called the elements of the matrix. Elements 1, 2, and 3, 4 indicate the rows. Y elements 1, 3, and 2, 4 indicate the columns. Order of matrix. When describing the order of a matrix, the number of rows is stated first. And the number of columns second. Similarly, the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 2 by 2 matrix, has 2 rows and 2 columns, and it is called a matrix of order 2 by 2. In general, a matrix having hem rows and n columns has other m times n which reads m by n e.g. 1 b is equal to 3 2 4 minus 1 0 2 minus 3 1 6 this is 3 by 3 matrix because it has 3 rows and 3 columns. 2. C is equal to matrix 1, 3, 74, 29, minus 5, minus 1. This is 3 by 2 matrix because it has 3 rows and 2 columns. To identify the position of the elements above, it can be represented by A base IJ. In A base IJ, I represents the row, J represents the columns, e.g. in matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The horizontal arrow represents the rows. The vertical arrows represent the columns. Exercise. Find A11, A13, A22, A23, A31, A32 in the above matrix. Solution. A11 is equal to 1. Number in row 1 and column 1. A13 is equal to 3. Number in row 1 and column 3. A22 is equal to 5. Number in row 2 and column 2. A23 is equal to 6. 
Number in row 2, column 3. A31 is equal to 7. Number in row 3, column 1. A32 is equal to 8. Number in row 3, column 2. Stay tuned as we continue. Welcome back. Types of matrices. 1. Row matrix is a matrix with only one row of elements. E.g. matrix 1, 2, 3, minus 3, 5. The matrix has only one row with 5 elements and the other 1 by 5. 2. Column matrix is a matrix with only one column of elements. E.g. matrix 5, 6, minus 3, 5. The matrix has only one column with four elements and order of 4 by 1. 3. Diagonal matrix. This is a square matrix in which all the elements are zero, except those on the leading or main diagonal, e.g. A is equal to matrix 6, 0, 0, 2. B is equal to matrix 5, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. 4. Square matrix is a matrix with equal number of rows and columns, that is, M by N matrix, but M is equal to N, e.g., A is equal to matrix 2, 4, 6, 8, 2 by 2 matrix, B is equal to Matrix 1, 4, 5, 0, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 is 3 by 3 matrix. 5. Non-square matrix. When the elements in rows is not equal to columns, we say that the matrix is non-square matrix. Example, C is equal to matrix 1, 2, 4, 2, 5, 6. That is 2 by 3 matrix. D is equal to matrix 10, 15, 21, 3, 0, 1. Is 3 by 2 matrix 6 zero matrix or null matrix this is a type of matrix that has all its elements zero examples a is equal to matrix zero 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 two by two zero or null matrix or B is equal to matrix 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 by 3, 0 or null matrix. 7. Identity or unit matrix. It is a square matrix which has all the elements in the leading diagonal as 1. And the rest of the elements as zero. It is denoted by capital letter I. Example I base two is equal to matrix one zero zero one. I base two means identity matrix two by two. I base three is equal to one zero zero. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 
I base 3 also means identity matrix 3 by 3. Note, when another matrix is multiplied by identity matrix of same order, you get back the number. The diagonal matrix is 1. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. Operation of matrices. When we talk of operation of matrices, we talk of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and scalar multiplication of matrices. But we will only discuss addition and subtraction in this segment. Two matrices can be added or subtracted only if they have the same size or order. To add or subtract two matrices, simply add or subtract their corresponding elements. The resulting matrix obtained should be of the same size or order. Addition of matrices. Recall that for the two matrices to be added, we must have same number of row and same number of column. Example, if A is equal to matrix 2, 3, 5, 5, 7, minus 2, 5, 3, 0, and B is equal to matrix 7, minus 1, 5, 0, 2, 3, 7, 5, 2. Find A plus B. Solution. A plus B is equal to matrix 2, 3, 5, 5, 7, minus 2, 5, 3, 0, plus matrix 7, minus 1, 5, 0, 2, 3, 7, 5, 2. Adding the two matrices given together, then add the corresponding elements, which is equal to matrix 2 plus 7, 3 plus minus 1, 5 plus 5, 5 plus 0, 7 plus 2, minus 2 plus 3, 5 plus 7, 3 plus 5, 0 plus 2. Therefore, A plus B is equal to matrix 9, 2, 10, 5, 9, 1, 12, 8, 10. Some properties of matrices addition. A, A plus B is equal to B plus A, commutative rule. B, bracket A plus B plus C, is equal to A plus bracket B plus C, associative rule. C, A minus 0, is equal to A, where 0 is a 0 matrix, having the same size as matrix A. Assignment. Find B plus A and check if A plus B is equal to B plus A is commutative. Subtraction of matrices. If A is equal to matrix 6, 4, 12, 6, and B is equal to matrix 2, 3, 4, 5. Find A minus B. Practice questions to references. 1. Check one say pass question year 2017 question 12B and 2018 question 12A. 2. www.youtube.com slash dtw tutorials
Thank you for listening. Stay safe and remain blessed.